Hi everyone, Peter here from Flow High Performance, and in this presentation, we're going to be covering the question, what is general adaptation syndrome? And we're going to be going through this model of recovery and adaptation. So essentially the general adaptation syndrome is the most basic form of explaining adaptation to training. So essentially on this graph here, we have fitness level. We now know that there's more to adaptation than just fitness. There's also fatigue that comes into play. However, this model only takes into consideration fitness. So essentially it suggests that an athlete starts with a baseline level of fitness, and that can be any component of fitness. And after a training session, we have an initial decrement in fitness, and this is due to a disruption to homeostasis. However, after this initial decrement in fitness, we have a super compensation effect in our fitness levels, and we go up to a point that's above our initial baseline level of fitness. So we actually improve. So this is our recovery from the stimulus, and it hits a peak up here. However, without another training session, our fitness level will go back to the baseline. And this is the basic principle of the general adaptation syndrome. However, once we do a training session, we're not just going to stop doing training sessions. We want to do another one so we can continue that super compensation effect and keep progressing. So if we perform a training session somewhere from here to this point here, we're going to have another initial decrement in fitness and then another super compensation, which is at a greater level than even this point here. However, if we don't give ourselves enough time for recovery and we do another training session at this point in time, we may actually begin to get worse and worse because we're doing too many training sessions in a row without enough recovery to actually get that super compensation effect. So an appropriate sequence of training would look something like this graph here. So we start here at our initial baseline fitness level, we then have a training session and an initial decrement in performance, followed by a super compensation. And if we then do a training session at the correct time, we then have an initial decrement in performance, followed by a super compensation, and that trend continues. This is the most simplistic model of adaptation and recovery. However, in reality, there are a lot more factors that are involved. Nonetheless, the basic principle of training still remains the same since the foundation of this general adaptation model. We still need to do a training session and allow ourselves enough recovery to adapt, followed by more training sessions at the appropriate time. Thanks for watching and hopefully you got something out of this video. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already.